times it was just plain awkward, but that didn't stop 69-year-old Hillary Clinton from working her celebrity connections to inject enthusiasm into her campaign's final days. You ready to run for Hillary? Katy Perry is the latest in a string of celebrities to hold free concerts to motivate millennial voters to support a candidate more than twice their age. You know, I'm very excited. There are just three days left in this most consequential election. Are you ready? Are you ready to vote on November the 8th? Clinton's banking on these star-studded events to encourage voter support, prompting a jab on the campaign trail from her Republican rival, Thank Donald Trump. And we don't need Jay-Z to fill up arenas, you know. We do it the old-fashioned way. Still, Democrats are nervous. Many polls show Clinton clings to a fragile lead nationally. But with Trump within the margin of error in key swing states, a Trump victory on Tuesday is still possible. Voters here in Pennsylvania blame the tight race on that decision by the FBI to take a second look at Clinton's staff emails. They fear it will affect voter turnout. With the news and all the recent reports um, about the emails and everything, it's I, this is something to get us all excited about and uh, forget about all the uh, bad press. It does make me very, very nervous. I know Tuesday will be a day of anxiety, but I do believe that Hillary will be our future president. Also of concern for Democrats, African Americans who largely favor Clinton aren't turning out the historic numbers as they did in past elections for Barack Obama. Still, the Latino vote is surging. And Friday, federal court rulings in three swing states halt attempts to block voter intimidation and are seen as favoring Democrats at the polls. When your kids and grandkids ask you what you did in 2016, when it was all on the line, I want you to be able to say, I voted for a better, fairer, stronger America. It's a message Clinton hopes will unify a divided nation as she closes out her campaign in what Clinton says is the most consequential election of a lifetime. Kimberly Helkett, Al Jazeera, Philadelphia.